Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really super fun video where I'll be turning this super stretchy bed sheet into not one but three stylish pieces that is a dress, a top and a pair of trousers. Now this project is perfect for someone who is just getting into sewing and looking to upcycle and sew with what they already own. The thing is, I have not finalized my designs yet, but I have this super cool uh, mood board that I have made whereby I have my inspirations from Pinterest, the vibe I'm kind of going for. So for the dress, I'm going for like an off-shoulder kind of vibe with some long sleeves because I really do love long sleeves and if the fabric is enough, I'm going to have the long sleeves. If it's not enough, then I'm going to just have an off-shoulder kind of look that is asymmetrical and I'm really really loving that design and from my mood board that is the vibe I'm going for So this is just the basic block and if you do not know how to create a basic block, I have a video on how to create one. I will link it in the description and in the cards above. So now we get to manipulating or adapting this um, block to fit our design. And the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to duplicate this onto the other side because this is an asymmetrical dress. With this, I have the left and the right side, and now I want to add up that bit that goes for the sleeve and add up the bit that uh, gets gathered at the shoulder and then make it a little bit, you know, slanted. So that is my slant, and now I know that from this point right here to just right under the bust, but above the underbust, which is this line right here. So just right here, I need this band to be about four inches. So I'm just going to be extending that. And I have ruffles at this point. So I'm going to be extending it as though I'm curving outwards so that I have enough fabric to gather it all up later. Like that, we have our entire pattern. So I'm just going to add some allowance and cut.
everything is cut out i have only two pieces and i went ahead overlocked everything i'm not sure if that is visible and now i want to join everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by gathering every single part that needs gathering since i have this overlock stitch right here i'm just going to be passing like a thread in between the overlock and just pulling it so i'm going to be gathering at the shoulders this is my shoulder as you can see it's really big so i'm going to gather it uh a bit and then i'm also going to be gathering at this point which is this point right here and then i can just join everything together that is join the side seams because i do not have a sleeve and then join the shoulder I'm going to set my sewing machine to a zigzag stitch and then just sew at my shoulder, my side arm and my side seams. So this is the dress with the shoulder seam and the side sleeve stitched up and the side seams as well. As you can see, it looks really, really cute and I'm already excited about it at this point. But I have a couple of mistakes that I made. So when I was drafting, I made this dress like fully bodycon all the way to the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see. I cannot walk so I'm thinking that I'm going to take it out on one side and make one slit and if I do not like the vibe of just one slit dress I'll make another slit on the other side it's just like a tiny slit to this point so that I can walk and the other mistake that I've made is this part I've just stitched it too high so I'm just going to take it in like 
to this point right here that is like one and a half inches and it will be perfect and yeah that's it and my dress will be done except hemming and for hemming as you see in my sewing machine today is not a good day for my sewing machine and so i'm going to avoid overworking her so i'm going to be using a hemming tape so a hemming tape basically this is what i'm talking about and what this does is that you just have to iron it on it just fuses your pieces it's i can't call it an alternative to sewing but i have used it a couple of times to hem and there has not been problems and for the areas that i want to hem i do not want much stretch to them so this is perfect so all i'm going to do is place it in between the layers that i want to hem fold and then iron and then it will stay like that so that is what i'm going to do okay so this dress is done as you can see i've hemmed every single part and cut out one slit the slit looks so perfect i love it for the last like 10 minutes i've been wearing this dress trying on shoes to see which one goes best with the dress and i'm so so excited please make sure to stay till the end to see how everything looks and honestly i'm really obsessed with this dress but because i want to get done with the other projects let's move to the top For the top, I'm definitely, definitely feeling some asymmetrical vibe. And what I want to do with this is that I want to have like a slit on one side and then it flows to the other side. More like, as I said, asymmetrical. So from the top part of the top, I want it to be asymmetrical. The bottom part asymmetrical as well. I have this vibe going on. Now, uh, the top might not be long slit. It might end up being a short sleeve, but I do not mind it. I want something that is cohesive with the dress as well. Okay, so I have my top pieces. This is the front and the back, which look exactly the same. And I have my sleeve pieces and I have this tiny uh, ties that I want to turn into bows and have at the sides where the sleeves or rather the slits come in. And I might add some to the sleeves. I don't know. I have not done a plan for that part yet, but let's get started on sewing the body before we get to accessories. So nothing much about this top because all I'm going to do is I'm going to be sewing the shoulder and then sewing the side seam. After doing the side seam, then I'm going to be attaching the full sleeve, which is this, and then attach the um half sleeve which is on this side and then i'm going to use the same same hemming tape i used for the dress to hem this so let's get sewing I'm 
so this is where we are at and the next step is attaching my sleeves guess what my top is complete i know it took me like what 20 minutes to get done so this is how it looks and what is left is just hemming the neckline and hemming this bottom part right here and for the sleeves i'm going to leave them unhemmed because they have the salvage that i'm loving so let me go hem and i will have a complete top honestly i love it For the trouser, this is where I had a very clear vision from the beginning what I wanted and what I want is like a bell bottom or a flared pant. The ones whereby it's kind of tight at the top and then from the knee, just right above the knee, it just flares out. Now what I'm not decided on is if I want a slit or not. I have all the pattern pieces for my trouser. What I did, I dressed a trouser that I love and this is the flared jeans pants. I have a video on how to make these pants really really simple and because this was jeans and this fabric is stretchy, I just took it in a little bit and that's it. So I cut out uh, my two front pieces. I folded it in half. I cut out the front and folded it in half and cut out the back. So I have my four pieces right here. And then I cut out a rectangle and overlocked it. And that made up my waistband. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with the crotch seams. And that is sewing the two back pieces together at the crotch and sewing the two front pieces together at the crotch and then opening that up sewing at the crotch seam and at the side seam and then attaching this waistband and since this was a bed sheet it came with a hem and i used that hem to create the hem of my pants i don't know if you can see that and i absolutely absolutely love this um advantage it's an advantage you get with bed sheets that means i do not have to hem The trouser is done, here it is, it looks amazing and the fact that these match the uh, seam from the waistband and the center back seam match really really cute at the crotch everything matches really 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 happy about that so now that every piece is done let me go change my hair or do my hair rather and style every single piece of this i have like so much accessories that i want to make and hopefully i will incorporate them in this outfit so here is how everything turned out things.
Yes, I'd probably start with. I like the way she smiles. She got me staring for a while. Got me staring for a while. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's our conversation. She's my favorite notification. She knows how to dress for special occasions. She got me thinking life could be better. These songs start to feel like love letters. I should tell her now what I ever. It is what it is, man, whatever. Whatever, yeah, whatever. I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, it's whatever. She keeps me close In the friend zone? Yeah, but I don't mind it too much though Why? If my feelings don't show Say it ain't so, man You should know that I've been saying no But maybe you're the one I've been looking for so 